Hello viewers, in today's class we are going to discuss yet another important and very conceptual problem from uh, differentiation, right? And uh, here uh, we have to solve uh, a problem in which we have to find uh, the derivative of uh, uh, this function f of x uh, which is equal to uh, e raised to x times the square of greatest integer of x minus 1 uh, minus greatest integer of x plus 1 uh, where x belongs to the interval 0 comma 1 right so here uh, we have to find the uh, derivative of this function that is f prime of x and then uh, we have to find the particular value of the derivative at this point uh, that is uh, x is equal to half right so here uh, we see that uh, the function involves the greatest integer function, right? So this problem is going to be a very useful uh, problem for the beginners. And uh, here uh, we'll see the concept of greatest integer function, right? And how to simplify the expressions uh, containing uh, the greatest integer function. So now uh, before uh, finding out the derivative of this function or whenever we come across with the problems of this type uh, where we uh, have greatest integer function or the signum function or the fractional part function or sometimes uh, we have uh, absolute value function right then uh, what we do or what we usually do uh, we first try to simplify the function right by uh, taking help of the uh, particular type of function uh, involved in the given function, right? So here uh, the special function is the greatest integer function, right? And here, uh, this is the important line, right? So here x belongs to the uh, open interval uh, that is 0 comma 1, right? So here we have 0, here we have 1. So x belongs to this interval 0 comma 1 that is x lies between 0 and 1 right. So let us start. So here uh, first I uh, will take uh, this expression that is uh, uh, greatest integer of x minus 1 right. So we'll assign a value to greatest integer of x minus 1 and then we'll assign uh, the value to greatest integer of x plus 1 right. So let us see. Uh, what are the values of greatest integer of x minus 1 and uh, greatest integer of x plus 1, right? So here x lies between 0 and 1. So to get the value of greatest integer of x minus 1, uh, let us subtract 1 uh, throughout this inequality, right? So when we subtract 1 throughout this inequality, we'll get 0 minus 1. Here we'll have x minus 1. Here we have 1 minus 1, 0. Right, so 0 minus 1 is minus 1, this is x minus 1, this is 0, right. So now we see that x minus 1 lies between minus 1 and 0, right. So when x minus 1 lies between minus 1 and 0, then by definition of greatest integer function, the value of greatest integer of x minus 1 is minus 1, right, okay. Now to get the value of greatest integer of x plus 1, what we will do, we'll add 1 throughout this inequality, right? So what uh, when we will add uh, 1 throughout this inequality, we'll get 0 plus 1, then we have x plus 1, here we have 1 plus 1, so this is 1, this is x plus 1, this is 2, right? So we see that x plus 1, it lies between 1 and 2, right? So from the definition of greatest integer x plus 1, uh, we can now write the value of greatest integer of x plus 1 as uh, plus 1, right? Okay, so now uh, we have obtained the value of greatest integer of x minus 1 and greatest integer of x plus 1. So now our function, it reads like this, that is f of x is equal to e raised to x and here we have square of greatest integer of x minus 1. So we have minus 1 square and then we have greatest integer of x plus 1 that is equal to simply plus 1, right? So now let us simplify it. So we have e raised to x and minus 1 square is 1 and here we have minus 1, 
right so this is e raised to x times 0 so this is the e raised to uh, x times 0 is 0 so we have e raised to 0 is equal to 1 where e is the exponential number so here uh, we see that uh, the function f of x is equal to 1 uh, which is a constant function right so now if we differentiate this function with respect to x to get the value of f prime of x then uh, it is simply 0 because the derivative of constant function is 0 right so f prime of x is equal to 0 right and uh, the value of f prime of half is also equal to uh, 0 because when we take x is equal to half uh, in this equation then f prime of half is equal to 0 right so we were, this is how uh, we can solve uh, these type of problems.